record it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it should ask you. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, so come to a seated position. And we'll just begin to root the sitting bones down into the mat. Sitting up nice and tall, reaching the spine up out of the pelvis, just allowing the eyes to become heavy, eyelids may close completely, and just begin to go inward. Just imagine yourself in space. Imagine the shoulders backing right over the pelvis, head right over the shoulders. Take a deep breath into the belly, all the way up to the heart, and let it go, maybe out the mouth. We'll take another deep breath like that. Inhale through your nose, filling the low belly, up to the heart space, and let it go out the mouth. Begin to just feel the lips. And breathe in and out through the nose. You don't have to change the breath in any way or alter it. Just noticing every in-breath through the nose. And every out-breath. Becoming conscious of this ebb and flow. Notice how the belly and the heart and the shoulders rise with the in-breath. And how they fall with the out breath. Focusing the mind on any sensations that are coming to you as the breath comes in and out. You can keep your hands on the legs or maybe bring one hand onto your heart and then the other hand on top of that hand. And we'll just go through a little loving kindness meditation, first for ourselves then for someone we know, and then to everyone that's in Ukraine right now, really ground into the seat of compassion. So we'll say it in our minds. We'll say the next few phrases. May I be peaceful. May I be safe. May I be healthy. And may I be at ease. We'll bring someone into the mind who's in our lives or in our life that might need this loving kindness meditation. Maybe they're experiencing some suffering or sadness. And we'll say to them, may they be peaceful. May they be safe. May they be healthy. And may they be at ease. And take a deep breath in and out. We'll bring the image or the thought of all the people in Ukraine right now who are experiencing immense suffering, pain, hurt. And we'll say this, we'll send this out to them. May I be peaceful. Or may they be peaceful. May they be safe. May they be healthy. And may they be at ease. From here, just feel the beat of your own heart as you breathe in and out a few times, maybe three times here. Just allowing this message of love and kindness to ripple through the body and out into the world. And you can release the hands down onto your lap. And we'll just take a deep breath in to the low belly, mid belly, upper chest. Exhale through the upper chest, mid belly, low belly. Breathing in and out through the nose again. Breathe in low belly, mid belly, upper chest. Exhale, upper chest, mid-belly, low belly. And one more time like that. 
Inhale, low belly, mid belly, upper chest. Exhale, upper chest, mid belly, low belly. You can continue breathing like this throughout the practice. Know that it's here for you. And then we'll begin to flutter the eyes open from bottom to top. Take your time. And it's coming back to the room. We'll make our way down to the mat on the back. So just make sure you have a block that's near you. Yeah. And come all the way down onto the back. You can keep the soles of the feet on the ground. Keep the knees planted. And just take one of your blocks. And then bring the right knee up towards your chest. Yeah. And then bring the block on the back of your hamstring. So it's kind of on this angle here, on the back of your right hamstring. Just hold it there and begin to press your hamstring muscle into the block to straighten the leg. And you can flex the toes towards the face. Yeah. Keep an active foot here. Yeah. Good. Keep breathing in and breathing out. Engage the muscle right above your kneecap. So it's lifting towards your hip. Inhale, exhale, keep pressing, pressing the hamstring into the block. Good, take another deep breath in and deep breath. And you can slowly begin to bend that knee, remove the block and bring the right foot back down to the mat and then just switch. So bring the left knee up towards you. Yep, block on your hamstring. And then begin to press the belly of the hamstring muscle into your block, straight into the leg. See your capacity, but keep an active muscle right above the knee so you're protecting your knee. Keep flexing your toes, flexing your foot. Breathe in and out. Full breath in. Keep pressing the hamstring away from you. Full breath out. Take one more inhale and exhale. You can release the foot, release the block off to the side and just lengthen the legs out long. So we'll straighten the legs. An option here to take the block again. And we're just gonna reach the arms back, up and back behind us with the block. Yeah, and the box can rest on the ground, so that's fine. And just point your toes, so you're getting super long. Imagine your body is like, kind of like a pencil here. And breathe in and breathe out. Keeping everything in towards your midline, so the legs are not rolling out, but rather rolling in. Take another full breath in, getting really long in the side body. Full breath out. One more inhale, keep reaching the shoulders up towards your ears, and then exhale. You can bring the block back towards the side of the mat and bend the knees again, let go of that. And then bring the knees up towards your chest, take hold of the back hamstrings, and then you can rock forward and back a few times, just gaining some momentum, maybe three more times, and then coming all the way to sit. And once you're seated, you can sit on something once again if you want, or you won't be here for too long, but it's always nice to sit on something. And then take your arms out wide and then wrap your arms around you and feel for your shoulder blades, your scapula. So some people can't reach quite, quite to get it. I'll just come up and go and just try to kind of reach around. They're a little lower than some people think. Yeah. But <laughs> and breathe in here to that space, those muscles, and breathe out. Good. Now, stay with me here. We're going to reach the elbows up. Inhale, kind of blossom open the arms so they're straight up to the sky. And exhale to stay. It's okay if the shoulders reach up towards the ears. That's kind of the point of this. We want to get into our shoulder blades. So breathe in, keep reaching up, and breathe out. Now we're gonna do something a little bit, it reminds me of like 80s aerobic mom or something. So reach up a little bit further with one hand. Yeah, and then reach up with the other hand. 
Uh, so we're just kind of toggling back and forth between the shoulder blades here. And just breathe. You don't have to connect the breath with the movement. That's okay. Yeah, good. Just letting them work separately from one another. Go ahead and just take maybe twice more. Uh, yeah. And then you can let it go. Bring the hands down. Find some relief. Come onto all fours and just keep your blocks towards the top of the mat today. And come to all fours and then you can come to forearms. Mm -hmm. So coming onto forearms, maybe interlace your fingers. Keep your hips stacked over your knees. Yeah, keep pressing the forearms into the mat. So you're getting like a little curl in the spine, a little arc here. Good. And then we're just gonna do a few shoulder blade dips. So the only thing that's going to move is the space between the shoulder blades. So I'll kind of let my shoulders come up and dip down and then press up so my shoulder blades round down the back. It's a kind of a subtle movement. So dipping down and then pressing up. Yeah, good. Dipping down and pressing up. Let's just do three more. Dip down, press up. Yeah, dip down, press up for two. And just last one, dip down and press up. Good. And then from here, tuck your toes under. We're gonna lift the hips up and back, kind of like a downward facing dog, it's like a dolphin pose, is what it's called. And you can keep the feet where they are and just breathe in to press through your elbows, press through the forearms and breathe out. Let the head hang heavy here. It's okay if the back rounds a little bit. Hollow out the armpits as much as you can. Find strength in the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Option to stay right here or to walk your right foot forward, just about a foot, and then lift the left leg straight up into the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Keep pressing through the forearms. Release the left foot, step the right foot back. We'll just do it on the opposite side. Walk the left foot forward and then lift the right leg off the mat. Lift from your hamstring, breathe in and breathe out. Lower it down. From here, lower the knees, big toes to touch. Come to child's pose. Let it go. Then walk the hands really far forward. Maybe even come onto your fingertips to open up the armpits. Take a deep breath in here. Let the breath go. Put one more full breath in. And out. Please take child pose anytime you need throughout the practice. From here, press through your hands. Come through a tabletop, stacking your hips over the knees again. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips, find downward facing dog. Keep pressing through your hands, especially those bones underneath your fingers. Yeah, so they're right underneath your fingers. So we're off the wrist. And press through the feet. You can pedal through one foot and the other. Really hollow out the armpit, turning them in towards your ears. Breathe in and out. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe shake it yes, maybe shake it no. Take a full breath in through the nose. Let it go out the mouth. From here, inhale to roll forward onto your toes to plank pose. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And keep your quads really firm in this plank pose. And you can press through the hands so much so that maybe your shoulder blades begin to round. Yeah, good. And lower the hips just a bit. Yeah, good. So they're in line with your shoulders and your head. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly lower the knees down first and then elbows back as you lower all the way down to the belly. Good. Flatten out onto the tops of the feet, bring them as wide as your mat. And then come onto your fingertips on the outside edges of your mat, so on the floor. Press into your fingertips. Inhale, lift your heart. Good, exhale here. Roll your shoulders back. Yeah, breathe in 
and out. One more deep breath in, keep lifting the heart. Exhale, lower the heart all the way back down to the ground. Bring the hands in line with your heart space, right underneath the shoulders. You can bring the feet in so they're right underneath the hips, not so wide anymore. And then press through your hands, keep the elbows pinned in towards your side and breathe in to lift the heart. Yeah, good. Only, going only as far as you want to right now. Breathe in and then breathe out, lower the heart. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Press through the hands, pin the elbows towards your side. Draw the pubic bone forward as you lift the heart up. Good. And then this time, exhale, come through tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Beautiful. So we'll do that again, just one breath per movement. Breathe in to roll forward for plank. Yeah. And breathe out, lower the knees and all the way down. Inhale, come onto the tops of your feet. Open the heart up for cobra, lift your heart. Good. And then exhale through table, downward facing dog. So we'll go through this flow quite a bit in this class, but anytime you need to take child's pose. From here, just begin to press through the left foot. Inhale as your right leg rises into the sky. And exhale, bring the knee towards your nose as you begin to round the back and step forward between your foot. You can always use your hand to move the foot forward a little bit more. Drop your back knee and either keep the back toes tucked or untucked. It's up to you what feels better on your knee. From here, breathe in, arms sweep forward and up. Find low lunge and breathe out. Keep stopping your right knee over your ankle. Good, inhale, lift through the side body and exhale. Keep hugging the hips in towards one another. Take another deep breath in. Soften the gaze, deep breath out. One more inhale. And exhale, sweep your hands down towards the ground. Now, find your blocks. Yeah, your hands on the blocks. Whatever height feels best for you, you can test it out. Inhale to lengthen your spine forward. And then on the exhale, straighten through the front leg. Hips sink back and toes will come up towards your face. Yeah, so breathe in. Toes keep coming up towards the face to protect your knee and breathe out. Softening the heart. Uh, keep the hips coming in towards one another. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep strengthening that quad, lifting it towards the hip. One more deep breath in and exhale. Inhale to rebend your front knee, plant the palms, and exhale to step back for downward facing dog. And from here, we'll go to the left side. Press through that right hand, in or right foot, and left leg rises high into the sky. Straight leg, toes straight down. Good. And then from here, bring the knee towards your nose, round through your back, and step between your hands. Yeah. And then drop the back knee. Tucking or untucking your toes, up to you. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. And exhale to stay. Arms are in line with your ears. And just make sure if your bottom ribs really flared forward to draw them in. So thinking about stacking once again, the ribs over the pelvis, shoulders over the ribs, head over the shoulders. Breathe in and out. Draw your left hip back. Right hip forward slightly. Yeah. Take one more inhale. And on the exhale, swim the hands down. Find your block. Inhale, lengthen each vertebra in the spine. Exhale to straighten through the front leg. Yeah. And flip the toes up towards your face. You can walk the blocks back. Yeah. If you need to. And just inhale, lengthen your spine. Try to find a straight spine here. And then exhale, fold only as far as you'd like to go, as far as your capacity is in this moment. And it can be different from side to side. Breathe in and breathe out here. Keep an active left foot so that all the muscles in the leg are really active here. It's not a passive stretch. Breathe in and out. 
And on the inhale, re-bend the front knee, walking the blocks back towards the top of the mat. Plant your palms and step back downward facing dog. You can pedal through the feet to let it go. Good. And then we're just going to walk towards the front of the mat. Walk towards your hands at your own pace. And once you're there, you can bend the knees as much as you need to. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe grab opposite elbows, bending through the knees, shaking the head yes again or no. Heading into the neck. Take a deep breath in. Let the breath go. And let the elbows go. And then walk your feet underneath your hips if they're a little wider. Yeah. And then from here, take your peace sign fingers, your index and middle finger, and grab, gently grab around your big toes. Yeah. You can bend your knees as much as you need to get there. And from here, flatten your back, lift your heart as much as you can. And then exhale to use your arms to pull you down and fold deeper. Remember, it's okay to bend the knees here. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Can you imagine your sitting bones coming right above your heels? Yeah. Breathe in and out. One more full breath in. Exhale. Let go of your big toes. Press through the feet equally. Bend the knees and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Take your time moving slowly and come to Tadasana, mountain pose. You can keep your feet as wide as your hips here. We'll just go through a few sun salutations to warm up the body. So pressing down through the feet, inhale, circle the arms up overhead and exhale here to stay for a moment. Keep lifting the shoulders up towards your ears. Breathe in, breathe out to ground down through your feet. Notice once again, if the hips kind of escape you or the ribs kind of escape you and draw them back in line with your hips. One more breath in. And on the exhale, begin to fold forward here. Take your time swan diving forward. Good. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Find a flat back using the back muscles. Good. And exhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to step your right foot back. And then exhale to step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, pull forward for plank. And exhale, lower the knees and lower all the way down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Inhale, cobra pose to lift your heart. And exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog. Good. From here, inhale, right foot rises high into the sky. And exhale it slowly between the hands. Take your time. Good. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lengthen the heart. And exhale, step the left foot forward. Breathe in to find your flat back. Lift through the back muscles. Exhale, fold forward and down. Press through your feet. Inhale, slowly rise up all the way, arms will sweep up towards the sky in line with your ears, and exhale, hands through heart center. We'll go through it again, this time stepping the opposite foot back. When you're ready, inhale, arms sweep up high. Exhale, float forward and down. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Lift your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, step the left foot back. And then exhale, step your right foot back. Find downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward on the toes. Find plank pose. Uh, and exhale, lower the knees all the way down to the chest. Flatten onto the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift your heart, cobra pose. And exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog to tuck the toes. From down dog. Inhale, left leg rises, straight left leg. And exhale it forward, foot between your thumbs. Good. Inhale, come onto your fingertips, extend the spine. And exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the spine, flatten the back. 
Exhale, fold a little deeper. Press through your feet. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up high in line with the ears. And exhale, hands to your heart center. We'll go through it two more times and we'll switch it up just a little bit. Okay. So coming to the top of the mat, once again, finding your Tadasana, ground down through your feet. Inhale, arms sweep up high. Exhale, float forward and down, swan diving. Inhale, find a flat back, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right foot back. And on the exhale, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward on the toes for plank pose. And exhale, lower the knees, lower all the way down. Slide onto the belly, inhale, press through the hands, lift your heart. Exhale through table, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. This time, option to bring the big toes to touch and about two inches closer to your face. Bend through the knees, inhale, look forward. And then on the exhale, maybe float towards the top of the mat. Yeah. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the back. Exhale, fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, last time, just fold right forward and down. Yeah. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, step the left foot back. And exhale, step the right foot back down, or facing dog. Inhale, come forward onto the toes, plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees and lower all the way down with control. Inhale, find cobra pose, lift your heart. Exhale through table, downward facing dog. Good. From here, bring the big toes about two inches closer to your face and to touch. Inhale, bend your knees, open them wide, look forward. On the exhale, float towards your hands. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding once more. Press through your feet equally. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. And exhale through heart center. Prayer pose. Anjali mudra. You can soften the eyes or let them close completely. Maybe bringing the hands on top of your heart. And just connecting back to your breath, back to your body. Feel the beat of your own heart. And breathing in to the low belly, mid belly, upper chest. And let the breath go off the mouth. One more like that. Deep breath in, low belly, mid belly, upper chest. Let it go off the mouth. We'll release the arms by the side and we'll do a breath work movement that's called breath of joy. Really great to do in the afternoon or the morning, not so much at night because it's very energizing. So bring the feet right underneath your hips and I'll just do it first just to show you. Um, if you have any high blood pressure, don't do this. Blood coma, I know you don't have that, but if anyone does, just don't do it. And so we'll bring the palms shining forward. And it basically, it's three inhales, three breaths in, and then one big breath out as we fold forward out of the mouth. So it looks like this. And you'll bend your knees a lot and roll up really slowly, right? Because there's a tendency to get kind of dizzy if we go fast. So we'll do it together three times. We'll go slow when we roll up. Inhale, 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 exhale, bend the knees, the breath up through the feet all the way. Good. Take your time. Come to stand. Again, palms forward, inhale, exhale. Good. Breath through the feet, rolling up slowly to come up. So the transitions are always slow, and we can exhale pretty fast out the mouth and go down. So let's try that. Breathe in. Good. 
head and then roll up slowly, taking your time again. And then just find your mountain pose, find your stability. And are you okay? Not dizzy? <laughs> Good. So just check in with yourself. And then we'll move into our standing poses. So you can come to the top of the mat. Bring the big toes to touch the feet, the inner edges of your feet to touch. And you can bring your hands to your hips, that's fine. Or you can bring the arms up in line with your ears if you want to get into the shoulders again. We're going to process a little balancing here. So make sure the inner edges of your feet are really close together. And then stare at one point ahead of you that's not moving. And then from here, we're going to roll up onto the balls of our feet, lift the, hip, the heels off the ground. Breathe in and breathe out. It's okay if you wobble. Take a deep breath in. Keep lifting. Deep breath out. All right, one more deep breath in, keep squeezing the heels together. And exhale, slowly lower the heels and bend your knees. Sit your sitting bones back behind you. Yeah, keep hugging your low ribs in. Notice this there. They have a tendency to splay out and just hug them in. Allow the tailbone to roll down the back. So the low belly is up and in. Breathe in to chair pose, Utkatasana. And breathe out. Maybe you sit a little bit lower. Inhale. Keep lifting the heart, arms by the ears. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Shift the weight into your right foot. Stay with me and lift the left knee up off the ground. Just in line with your hips, that's fine. Take a deep breath in, and then slowly with control, step back behind you. Take a wide stance. If you need to bring the hands to the hips and adjust, you can take a little bit of a wider stance there. Yeah, and make sure you're on the ball of your foot. Yeah, so almost on the toes, yes, yeah. So you're really pressing back through that back hamstring, almost like we have the block there again, right? So really come onto the ball of the foot here. Good, find one point of focus that's not moving. Arms can be up in line with the ears. Breathe and straighten the legs, both legs, good. And then breathe out, bend one or both knees if you lower. But inhale, straighten that back leg, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, bend your knees, come down. Good, just twice more. Inhale, lift up, press that back hamstring back. Exhale. Inhale, bend. Good, one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Now from here, inhale, arms sweep up. Keep pressing that back hamstring straight. Keep the bend in the front knee. Inhale here, and on the exhale, spin your back foot down. Open the hip up towards the left side of your room, and arms will sweep forward and back. Look down at your feet. Make sure the front heel is in line with the arch of your back foot. Make sure that back foot is parallel with the back edge of your mat. It's okay if shoulders are up by your ears. Breathe in, reaching through the heart, through the fingertips. Exhale. Notice if you feel like you're really far forward or really far back. And once again, stack shoulders over ribs, over pelvis. Look forward over the fingertips. Inhale and exhale. One more full breath in, full breath out. Lift the front palm, reach forward, and on the inhale, reach up and back. Find a peaceful warrior here. Just reaching up to stack the shoulders. Inhale, your left hand is on your cow. Exhale, good. Take one more deep breath in, not here for too long. And then exhale, come all the way forward. Take your time, bringing your forearm on top of your left, your right thigh rather. Or if you want, you can take a block. If you have one near you on the outside of the right foot and just breathe in here, whatever you choose. Inhale, keep opening the right heart, exhale. Keep your right knee going forward towards that third toe. One more breath in and exhale, press through the feet, inhale, tip up and back, last time here, and then exhale, windmill your hands down around the front foot, square your hips, 
to take your time through this transition if you need and step the right foot back downward facing dog. Often to release the knees down for child's pose or to inhale forward for a plank and exhale, lower the knees and lower all the way down. Inhale to flatten on the tops of the feet, lift the heart cobra and exhale, tabletop downward facing dog. From here, bring your big toes to touch and a little bit closer to your face. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. And on the exhale, hop as far as you can towards your hands. Good. Inhale, find a half lift, lift from the back muscle. Exhale, fold, press through the feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, hands through heart center. Beautiful. We'll go through it just one more time on the left side. And if you need to grab something to drink or yeah, shift in any way, please do it. So from here, we'll inhale arms, sweep up high by the ears. Exhale to stay. Notice your ribs, if they flew away, draw them back. Bring your inner feet to touch. Really squeeze them together. And then when you're ready, roll up onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels. Find your balance, find that midline, breathe in, breathe out. One more deep breath in, keep focusing the gaze. And on the exhale, release the heels down towards the mat, bend through the knees, find Utkatasana chair pose. Breathe in, keep lifting your heart, breathe out. Uh, keep squeezing the thighs together, inhale and exhale. Last breath in here and breathe out. Fist the weight into the left foot. Inhale, right leg comes up to the chest. Find a balance. And as you exhale, slowly with control, step way back behind you. Find a high lunge. Hands can come to the hips if you need to adjust here. Yeah. And find that long stance. Come on the ball of the back foot. Bend through the front knee. Make sure it's tracking that third toe. And then arms sweep up by the ear. Breathe and straighten through both legs. Really straighten through that back leg. And exhale, bend the knees. Arms sweep down. With control, inhale, rise, straighten. Engage that back glute. Exhale, lower. Good. One more breath in, rise up. Breath out, come down. Actually, one more so we're even with the other side. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Bend the knees. Good. Inhale, arms up in line with your ears. Straighten through that back leg. And on the exhale, spin the back foot down. Open up warrior two. Adjust your feet, heel to arch alignment. Gaze is over your left fingertips. Breathe in. Keep reaching. Breathe out. Can you bend your front knee a little bit more? Yeah, good. Just making sure it's tracking towards that third toe again. Inhale and exhale. One more full breath in, full breath out. Flip the front palm, reach it forward, inhale, and flip up and back. Keep the bend in the front knee as much as you can. Soft on your right fingertips. Breathe in, keep reaching, finding length, and breathe out. And you roll the right shoulder back behind you. One more deep breath in. And on the exhale, come forward, bring that left forearm on top of the left thigh. Swim the right ear, either straight up or over your right uh, ear. Breathe in and breathe out. Gaze can be up towards the sky. Really turn the left shoulder, left heart up towards the ceiling. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Press through your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up and back once more. And as you exhale, swim them all the way down on either side of your foot. Square your hips and step back for downward facing dog. Often to release into child's pose or inhale to come forward for your plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees first and chest all the way down. Inhale, lift your heart, cobra pose. Really draw the shoulders back. Exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog. Option to walk the feet towards the hand 
or bring the big toes a little bit closer and to touch. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, float towards your hands. Yes. Inhale, find your halfway lift once more. Exhale to fold. Breath through your feet. Inhale, arms sweep up high. And exhale, hands through heart center. Good. We'll go through it this time. One breath for movement. So take your time as always. If you need to go faster or slower than me, listen to your body. So from here, inhale, arms sweep up. Come on to your balls of your feet. Okay. And exhale, lower the heels down. Sit back, chair pose. Shift the weight into your right foot. Inhale, left leg rises up. And exhale, step it back slowly with control. Inhale, find high lunge. On the exhale, turn and open towards the left for warrior two. Good. Yeah, inhale, flip your, your front palm and reach up and back to useful warrior. And exhale, come forward on top of your right thigh, extended side angle. Press through your feet, inhale, reach up and back once more for peaceful warrior. And exhale, slim your hands down on either side of your foot. Square the hips, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, pull forward for plank. Exhale, lower your knees and lower the chest with control all the way down. Inhale, lift your heart, open up the shoulder. Exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog. Bring your big toes a little bit closer and to touch either bending the knees on the inhale and hopping forward on the exhale or walking the feet towards your hands. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, fold. Pass through the feet. Inhale, rise up. Good. And exhale here with the arms up high. Bring the feet together if they're not already. Inhale, roll up onto the balls of the feet. Lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels. Sit back, chair pose. From here, shift the weight into the left foot. Inhale, right leg rises up towards your chest. Exhale, send it back with control. Breathe in, high lunge. Breathe out as you open up towards the right. Warrior two. Good. Inhale, flip your front palm. Reverse it up and back, peaceful warrior. And exhale, come forward on top of the thigh with the forearm. Extended side angle. Press through your feet. Inhale, reach up and back. Once again, peaceful warrior. And exhale, come all the way down, hands down to the ground. Square the hips, come under the ball of the back foot. Step the left foot back, downward dog. Inhale to flow forward for plank. Exhale, lower knees and lower with control all the way down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Inhale, press up. Roll the shoulders back, good. And exhale through table. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. From here, bring your big toes to touch. Inhale to bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop towards your fingers. Good. Inhale, find the halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up really high into the sky. And exhale, draw the prayer down through heart center. Let that flow go. Any expectations you have for yourself in your practice, just begin to soften those. Find the beat of your heart behind the shirt, behind the skin and the bones. Breathe into that space, taking a full breath in. Exhale, let it go out the mouth. Another deep breath in, exhale. You can release the arms by your side and flutter the eyes open if they're closed. And I'm just gonna show you from this view, bring your feet together like we've been doing. And you can bring your hands to your hips we're just going to begin to bend through the knees and they'll widen a little bit. You can also just come into this from this position too, from this like kind of seated kneeling on your feet position. 
So come here and then widen the knees and then just reach the arms forward. So this is what it looks like from this position and then from this position it will look like, right? So our feet are together, yeah. So you got it, feet together, knees wide. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, feet are together, inner feet, knees wide, and then walk your hands forward. It's okay if your heels don't touch the ground. Not really, it doesn't happen for everybody. Kind of just what our anatomy is, depends on our bone structure. And just allow the heart to soften here, allow the hips to open a little bit. If you don't feel any pain in the hips or pinching. And breathe in and breathe out. Okay. You can stay on your fingertips so you have space in the armpit. And take another deep breath in. Feel the armpits rise and deep breath out. From here, slowly walk the hands back towards your body. You can bring the knees together. And then from here, just press the heels down and forward fold again. Bring your feet about hip distance and lift your right foot and then take your palm right underneath your right foot. Yes, yeah, so you can bend your knees as much as you need. Yeah, and we'll do it with the left foot too and the left palm. So you can give your hands and your wrists a little massage with your feet. It's kind of funny, but it honestly feels really nice to stand on the hands. <laughs> you can say you did a handstand today. <laughs> and breathe in. Let the head hang heavy, shake it around if you need to, and breathe out. I'm going to take one more full breath in. And full breath out. Slowly slide the hands away from your feet, out from underneath your feet. And just walk the hands forward and then come onto your knees. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come onto the bottom and swing the legs around. And we'll just take a little twist to get rid of any excess energy. So you can bend through the right foot, bring it close to your heel. And you can either keep the foot right here or cross it across you. Yeah, and step it on the other side. And then bring the right hand back behind you. And you can either hold onto your right leg like this with the left arm or reach it up into the air and then hook the elbow onto the outside of your right knee. Yeah, good. And flex your left toes towards your knee, towards your face. Knee is straight up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep twisting and opening. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe opening and turning a little bit more, looking behind you. Take another deep breath in, and exhale. Slowly unwind, come back through center, and just take a little counter twist towards the left side. And then lengthen the right leg out long, and we'll take it on the other side. So you can bend through that left knee, maybe take it on the outside of the right knee, flex the toes towards your face, Bring the left hand behind your back. Inhale, right arm rises. Exhale, hooking the elbow on the outside of the left knee. Breathe in, lengthen between each vertebra. Imagine creating space and breathe out. Turning, twisting, maybe a little bit deeper. Keep flexing your right toes. Keep an active right leg. Inhale. Exhale. One more full breath in. And exhale. Slowly unwind. Come back through center. And then bring the hands down to the right side of the mat. And just take a little counter dip twist. And come back up. Lengthen the left leg out long. You can bop the knees up and down if you need to. Maybe massage the muscles here. And then we'll bend the knees and we'll do a, get a little bit into the core to come all the way down to the back. So we'll flip the palms up towards the sky, sit up really straight. So you're on your 
sitting bones here. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're just gonna be in to roll down with control. It's okay if you go fast at any point, right? Just how our body is in this moment. And bringing the back all the way onto the ground. Good. And once you're there, you can bring the knees up towards the chest and bring your hands on top of the knees and maybe just shift one knee forward and one knee back. And just keep trading here with the knee. Yeah. Nice. And from here, release the feet down towards the ground. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. And we'll just knock the knees down towards the right, like a windshield wipe, and then towards the left. Yeah. Kind of might feel this on the hip, outside of the hip. And the gluteus medius, which is also the outside of the hip doesn't usually get a lot of stretching during the day. So this is a nice one for that. And just take it about one more time on each side. And then bring the knees back up towards the sky. Option to take a happy baby, bringing the knees in towards your chest, grabbing the outside edges of your feet, maybe allowing the back to rock from side to side. Feeling the glute muscles and the hamstring attachment. Just release and stretch here. Breathe in and breathe out. And then when you're ready, you can let go of the feet. Maybe give yourself a big hug, bringing the knees together. Maybe bring the head up towards the knees. Breathe in here, and as you breathe out, slowly release the back, release the legs out long, arms out long, palms up towards the sky. Begin to settle in for Savasana. Allow the eyelids to be heavy or close them all the way. Move any clothing that might feel like it's bothersome on the body or irritating. You can let down the hair if that feels better for you. And take a full breath in and empty the breath out. Begin to give the body permission to soften and rest. Release the back two teeth, allowing the jaw to release. Letting go of any tension in the muscles in the face. Focusing your inner gaze on that space between the eyebrows. And let that space soften. And breathe in. And breathe. And just dig in, be soft and be even deep. And let your practice integrate for the next few minutes.
and to deepen the breath when you feel ready to do so. Maybe letting the air go out the mouth a few times. And invite small movements into the body, through the hands and the feet, the toes and the fingers. And then maybe reach the arms up overhead like we did in the beginning of class, stretching really long, pointing the toes away from you. And bend through your knees, planting the feet, knees up towards the sky, and turn to your right side if it's available to you today. Otherwise, the left side is fine too. And then press through your hands and come to a seated pose. Keep the gaze inward or the eyes closed as best you can. And can come at prayer at heart center. We'll just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I'll just inhale and chant Om, you're welcome to chant with me on the exhale as well. Breathe in. Oh. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. The light inside me honors and bows to the light inside of you. Thank you so much. Let's turn the recording off.